Let's get lionfish out of here. Fox and News reporter Devin Caffeo here with Frank Taylor from Global Grill here in Pensacola. Frank, what are you going to be cooking for us today? I'm going to do some uh, lionfish ceviche, one of our signature dishes we do at the restaurant. It's going to be cool, refreshing uh, with the summer vegetables right now, tomatoes, peppers. Lionfish is a real flaky white meat. It goes great with the ceviche. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get to cooking. You always want to use the freshest possible fish. We started with the lionfish as the size, about half inch cubes. Basically one of the things we do when you're doing ceviche, you don't want to do your vegetables any bigger than you do your fish. We're going to do all of our citrus on there right now. A couple limes, a couple lemons. We've got the lemon, citrus, limes. We're going to put some fresh orange juice on there. Hit it with some salt right now too. Of course, no chef uses measurements, so I couldn't tell you how much that was. A little secret thing is sambal. You can get at your Asian store. The more heat you want, the more, you know, more you go with jalapenos going in there. And basically what my, my rule of thumb is, is I try to do one third of the fish or seafood in there and the other two thirds vegetables. So we're gonna go with all these tomatoes, all these peppers, do like half of these onions here, and half of these onions. And then we're gonna toss it together, we're gonna hit with a cilantro here in a second. So we got some cilantro going in there now and then we'll finish it off with a little rice wine vinegar. That's another acid that's helping the cooking process. Extra virgin olive oil. Just to help neutralize that flavor, that acid at the very end. Okay, y'all, well, I'm about to try my very first lion fish ever. Any tips? Uh, just shoot it down and you're going to love it, I think. Okay, let's try it. It tastes very cool and refreshing. The lionfish is the perfect texture, and the peppers and the onions add a perfect crunch to go with it. And it's a little acidic from all the lemon and lime juice, and a little spicy as well. Seems like the perfect snack on a boat. Oh yeah, definitely. Bring it on the boat with you. Make it the day after, you know, fishing. Take it the next day. Bring it to a party afterwards. Thank you so much, Chef, for this tasty treat. And we're gonna keep eating. And if you missed any of those steps, you can find the full recipe on Fox10TV.com as well as the recipe for some delicious lionfish tostadas. For now reporting in Pensacola, I'm Devin Caffaro for Fox 10 News.